And good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the big wide world. We are back. We are live. We are streaming once again, as always. So today's going to be a pretty wild day for everybody who is watching. We're starting here on Twitch. We will go over to kick for a few hours. We're going to come back to Twitch for the decathlon starting at 12 o'clock Eastern. And then we will be going back to kick for the bullet chest championship a little bit later on. So it's going to be a pretty wild day. Um, but anyway, hope you guys are doing well. And we are back and we are live and we're streaming once again okay play c5 let's go c3 build the uh big white center here thank you so much to orbit for the prime they have burke turkey for the tier one west montgomery for the prime thank you so much to revenor for the prime and nandor for the prime as well appreciate it thank you so much you guys so here we go good morning good luck with the tournament yes we're the bullet chest championship is later on right now we're playing of course just some blitz to warm up i will be going to kick a little bit later on so let's take with a pawn <clears throat> okay let's go e5 here knight e4 knight g3 trade off some knights Pretty standard stuff. I guess I'll take with the H pawn. I could take with the F pawn and play for G4, but I will just take with the H pawn here. Okay, Bishop A6, logical move. Uh, I'm just going to go Bishop B1 here. Not try out the light square Bs. I want to go G4, maybe G3, maybe King G2 and Rook H1. Bishop B4, doesn't concern me. Let's go Rook E3. Almost for sure I want to play G. Actually, this just hangs a piece. I have A3, B4, trap the bishop, and we're going to start off with a nice big win here in the first game of the day. Sup? Yes, sub, sub, sub. Chat a little bit, moving a little bit slowly. We are, of course, live once again. So, all right, we're going to kick the bishop away from B4, go B4, win the piece, and then maybe like, well, there isn't much to say because I'm just going to win this game. Okay, let's go again. Okay, knight of three. Let's play G6, bishop G7, as always. So far, pretty standard. Get my d4. I will play d6 here. Let's go a6 and b5. Um, how am I? I'm pretty good this morning. A little bit slow, but I'm pretty good. Let's go b5. It should be seven and eight d7. Can we get e5 here? Um, what does the e5 do? Actually, it does nothing. So I'm going to play b4 to kick the knight. I cover the two squares in the center of the board. <clears throat> knight e2. Okay, now we'll take, of course, go knight e7. Probably knight c6. Maybe a5, a4. <clears throat> I should be better. Maybe I could have taken a pawn here. Maybe, but it is what it is. Goes f4. Um, don't you want to warm up on bullet? Uh, bull the bullet championship is later on. Obviously, um, I will play some bullet later on. But I, I like playing bliss to start the stream. So he goes bishop e3. I think I'm going to go a5 here. Um, I don't know if he's going to play a4, a3, what he's going to do. He'll probably do something, but position looks pretty decent for me. Pretty decent. Uh, the BCC is today, you guys. I do have a match a little bit later on. Um, I could go a4. I think I'm going to play a4. Play d5. Attack the bishop. Close the center. Probably play h5, h4. <clears throat> pretty pleasant position. I'm going to play a3 here. Try to... Um, Make him take or go there. Probably h5, h4 is an idea. I could have just castled too, but who cares? Uh, the bullet chest championship will be starting, I believe, at 2.30, um, 2.30, uh, 2.30 Eastern. So what we're doing is we're going to be starting here on... Um, play h4. I don't actually know if I like my position. Oh, uh, we're starting here on Twitch. We'll be going over to kick in about like 20 minutes or so. Um, then at 12 o'clock, we're coming back to uh, Twitch for the for the decathlon event, which will be Crazy House at 12 o'clock Eastern. And then after that, back around 2 o'clock, we will be uh, going back to uh, kick for the duration of the day. Thank you to MVV at chess for the nine months. Thank you so much. Let's go here. I'm going to play knight of five, probably. Just go here. Thank you so much to share an Ubesu. Uh, thank you so much to Hingle McCreerberry for the 13 months. Of course, stay with Epon. I'm guarding the knight. Probably play for C5, maybe knight a6, bishop b4 at some point. Okay, I'm going to go C5 and d4 here for sure. Let's go d4. Um, you can take with the bishop or the queen. Okay, but now I just take and take. and This should be gg, why not? Let's just take, fork the two rooks. I have a pass pawn to march down the board as well. So, have I analyzed Federer Tani? That was just a short video. I didn't see a game game score or full game anywhere. So, uh, no. Oh, let's go Bishop B2. <clears throat> Play D4 here. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. A little bit slow, but I'll wind my way into the stream. Making the 2800 look like an 800 WTF. Um, yeah, Alcatraz did win. Yes, he beat Djokovic, which was actually great to see. Um, 
Let's go see where Quincy is actually very reminiscent to me um, of the match between a Federer and a doll in 2008. I think it was where um, there, there was that epic like five set match between um, between Roger and uh, one second. Let's go or Kieran Bishop one, of course, between Roger and um, and Rafa. And that's what it kind of reminded me of. It reminded me a lot of that one. Let's take and take. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the life behind you is so annoying. Uh, it's part, it's become part of the stream. It's been, it's become a fixture. So if you don't like it, that's fine, but that's not your decision to make. So I think 49 is for the, for the gift of sub appreciate it. So, all right, going to go work C1, put pressure upon a C7. Um, do I know about untitled Tuesday event? No, I don't. Okay, let's go here. Stack the rooks. <clears throat> um, I'm going to play rook D4. I don't know if it's best, but if rook E3, I can just take and scoot over. Um, Bishop A6 looks like a mistake. Um, I think we're just going to play like H3. I don't know if H3 does anything, but I'm going to play it. I just realized actually he could have sacked because after takes, takes here, there's Queen E1 checkmate. So, um, untitled Tuesday chess bras do it. Okay. I, I don't know what that means exactly, but anyway, cool. Okay, now I can play rook c4. I think I'm actually going to scoot the king out of the way. I could have gone to h, but there's queen e5 check, so. Queen f6 is a pretty good move. Um, I guess I'll go here and guard the pawn. Go here, trade the queens off. This should be okay for me. Okay, now it's even material here, but I should be a little bit better. <clears throat> oh, he has rook c8. Okay, I take, but I have e4 here, which I think he missed. Yeah, I think he missed that I have e4 here to attack the bishop. And then maybe e5, d6. That should be winning. Uh, let's just go here on d6. So I go d6, there's d7, there's rook a8. This should just be cleanly winning for me. I go here, takes, takes. Take either pawn. He takes that one. Um, I guess I'll go here. Just one simple idea to play bishop d5. <clears throat> Thanks for the sergeant animal mother for the 36 months. Three years feels good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. This is live. I didn't watch Wimbledon yesterday, um, but I but I was following. I was following the, the match score. I didn't actually watch it, no. Okay, we're going to get another quick win. We're going to be on three out of three. Let's keep going. Oh, now wins are only plus one. So this will be the last game I play against this guy. Yikes. Do we know who the card face today? Yeah, I'm playing Amir Ohanian, um, an Armenian chess player. So that's who I'm playing today. Yeah. Why the same opponent? Because why not? I don't, I don't know what you guys mean by that. But anyway, let's go here and trade. Takes. Wow. Okay. Kind of scary for white, actually. It was F4. That looks dubious, too. Uh, let's go check. Let's take. And I mean, I know to me, this looks very scary. I have H4 to attack. His, his, his double pawns, weak king, H4 is incoming. Uh, let's just keep going. H4 and take. He can obviously trade the queens, I guess, if he wants to. But it's just a very ugly position to play. Let's go knight f6 here. I just want to make sure he doesn't get e4 in. That's the most important thing here. Let's go rook h5. Why not? Oh, did I actually misplace? I might have misplayed this a little bit. Um, I did misplace. I guess I'll go c6 here and try to chip away at the structure. He takes. Of course, we'll take. And I'm going to go rook c5. Take the pawn here. Oh, but he has rook before, which I also missed. Um, do I play a5? I think I do play a5 and then d5. Maybe trade some pieces here. Okay, and another bad move, though. I, sh I should have just played d5 in one go. Because, yeah, now I'm I'm better, but it's not trivial. He goes there, which I think is a mistake. So I have knight d5 to hit the pawn. We'll go rook e8.
Oh, bishop b2 or something. I should be better here, but it's hard to prove. Let's go f5, lock the knight on d5. Very stable knight. Uh, e4, I can go knight f6 here. Hmm, do I play knight f6 or do I take is also an interesting question. I think I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to get a little bit trickier. I think the hook with the knight on f6 is important. And I can hook the knight on e4 too once he trades. I also have rook d8 here. Or rook b8. But I think rook d8 looks like the correct square to go to. I go rook d3 and knight d5. Let's go check. Of course. Um, Let's go... I have 94, but 95 looks correct. 94 to hit the pawns also works, but I think d5 is better just to keep an extra pawn on the board in the end game. I have rook d2. I can also just take. My assumption is that takes is correct, but check could be correct too. Actually, let's just go check and take. Let's take this one. Not 100% sure this is correct, but it gives me an extra pawn to push down the board. Um, okay, it goes there. I assume I just play a4 and a3. I don't see any tricks here. Yeah, I'm just going to go a3 and then like rook c2 or something. Oh, I should have played rook a1. Put the rook on the wrong square. Shoot. Okay, whatever. It's still good though. Okay, e6 should be good. Yeah, actually, I kind of misplaced. Maybe here i'm gonna try to put the knight on c4 basically very tricky position i should be winning somehow no i messed this up i don't believe this should have gone knight c4 and tried to walk the king Trying hard to draw the game. Wait, what the heck? Tag bond just subscribed. It's also check, which I missed. I'm gonna try to flag him. Oh my god, I didn't even do this correctly. Jeez, what the heck? Oh, he blunders. Oh my gosh, he blundered. Horrible game, but it's a win. Right, let's play two more. Let's go e4. Not good, but it's a win. Olja, yes, poor guy. Yeah, I mean, I was completely winning and messed it up so badly. And he actually defended incredibly well. Um, he defended quite well, but then he still blundered at the end. Thank you so much to Leanhorn. Thank you to Max Milnick. Um, okay, let's play a three here. Just castles. Why not? Okay, goes queen d seven. Um, I'm going to play h three just to stop any queen g fours. Just b three. Why not? I guess I'll go here knight f five. Uh, yeah, think of miles jar for the 26 months. Thank you so much for miles jar. Appreciate it. Of course, never should have played knight h four in the first place, but still. Have I seen Beef King versus IRL King? I, I don't know what that is, but anyway. Yeah. Classic last game, and then he plays 10 more. Yeah, we're going to be going to kick later. Today's going to be a very weird day. We're doing sort of, we're doing the XQC. E -E -E. What is that? He's going to go F5. Wait a second. Wait a second. Um, we're going to be doing the XQC today. We're basically we start on, um, we start on. Okay, I guess let's take and take. I have, a, I have a nice knight on e4. I'll go here and like rook e1 maybe. Actually, let's go b4 here. Try to expand on the uh, on the uh, queen side. Rook e1, of course, is reasonable. Knight e6, just g3. Oh, that's a bad move. Okay, I guess I'm going to play... Uh... 
I'm gonna play F3. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'm gonna play it anyway just to stop. Rook F3. Okay, goes there. I take. Go here. I always have H4. Should be fine. Um, yeah. So, uh, we're, 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 someone was asking me something. I forgot. I'm not. An, no, I'm not annoyed. But I forgot. What were you guys asking me? Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be starting on Twitch today. I'm going over to Kick, and then I'm coming back to Twitch because we have the decathlon event at um at 12 o'clock Eastern. So it's gonna be. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go right back to Kick after the two-hour decathlon for the Bolt Chess Championship match. So it's gonna be a little bit, little bit up and down today. I, I've never done this, so. It'll definitely be something different. Let's go a foreign trade. Yeah. Oh, I missed queen c6. Yikes. But I can actually trade and I should be winning. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit shaky here. Is the weather hot in the US? I think it's very hot everywhere in the world right now. I should win this game just because his king is so poorly placed and he can't trade into the end game. And it goes there. Of course, I go king e4 to hit the pawn. His king is completely cut off now. So this should be winning. This should be winning for me. Goes g6. Um, okay, rook f6 looks like a good move. King d3 probably is good. I think rook f6, rook c6 should be the correct approach, though, to hit the pawn and then c5. Takes, of course, I take with the rook, and now I have, like, rook d5, or just check back. Okay, I go b5. Yeah, now I go here, and then rook d5 again. Takes c5, g5, b6, I just win the game by tempo. Take, I go back to c5, and now... The two connected pawns should be good enough here to win the game, I think. <laughs> go here. I have king f3. Okay, but now, now we're right back where we were before. So I go king e4. I'm going to kick the king back. Let's go check. c4. Now I start pushing the pawn. And this should be pretty straightforward um, in terms of winning. If I go b6, that's, that's good enough. I have b7 at the end. So, yeah, very straightforward win. Go here. This B7. Um, doesn't matter. I guess I'll go here. B7. Rook C7. No stalemate, by the way, because you can always push a pawn. You can always push this pawn. So no stalemate. I just go King D7, King C8. Very simple. Things I'm going to shoot the Lady Blurred for the five months. I go here. Takes and King C8. Um, not exactly very difficult to play. Okay, resigns do one more. Okay, I'm gonna play g6 again because I did have a winning position before. So let's go bishop g7. Let's go like d6, maybe c5. Who is this guy? Um, I don't I don't know. Probably a master level player if you if if you if you were to ask me. That's my best guess. I think it's a master level player, but I could be wrong. Um go here. I don't know if the 97 was much better, but whatever. Let's go knight of five. Take the Bishopman Castle. View Arena. We'll probably do a View Arena later. Um, what we're definitely going to be doing... Um, one second. Wait. Wait a second. Why am I thinking so long here? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go here on Queen E7. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, today we'll definitely be doing a... Um, let's just play like... Uh, queen e7, I guess. I mean, knight g5 is a move. Uh, I'm just going to play h6. Stop. Knight g5. Uh, we're definitely going to be doing a viewer... Uh, not viewer. Sorry. We'll definitely be doing the Botez Gambit later on, for sure, because that is bullet, and uh, bullet is always a good thing. Um, let's see. I guess I'll play knight b6 to hit the bishop. We'll definitely be doing uh, some of the, the Botez Gambit bullet speed run. We'll definitely be... Um, I'll be doing a view arena, I think. I mean, both those seem pretty straightforward. Um, Bishop a2 is a good move. Now, I can play h5 if I want. Yeah, I think I'm going to go h5 here, and then, like, Bishop g4 probably, and, like, Bishop h6 and use the two bishops. Maybe. How do I... My knight on b6 is misplaced suddenly, though. I'll go here and hit the queen. So 
So, can we get queen d3? Uh, I'm going to go knight d7 and knight c5 to hit the queen. Just hit the queen with knight c5. Things are just a high roller for the 39 months, so that's what we're definitely doing. Beyond that, I, I don't have a set plan, but definitely a view arena, definitely some more blitz, definitely. Um, okay, let's just go here. Now I got the knight on the right square because f4 runs into bishop g4. And now I can also go for b5, b4 later on too. So I should be doing very well in this game. Have you ever been into working out? Of course I have, but I've never been like much into like weightlifting. I've always been someone who's into cardio. Um, I don't know what knight f3, does knight f3 do anything? Not really, let's go here. Uh, I don't know if bishop g4 does anything either, but I just want to play b5, castles, rook d8, just play chess. His bishop on a2, very passive. I thought here, I just go b5. Everything's guarded, because queen f7, I just trade and move back to the center of the board. Messi was introduced to Inter-Miami. Yeah, I, I did see that, actually. But yeah, BCC will be at um at 2:30 Eastern. Um, I guess I should just castle 2:30 Eastern. So, but we also have our decathlon at 12 o'clock, which will be crazy house. First prize I think is like 1,500 bananas, so a lot of money at stake. Let's go here. Try to trade some rooks. I do have rook d2, but I'm just gonna play king g7 to guard the bishops. I think you just plays Joe for the 27 months. Appreciate. It. Okay, let's go. Here, I just want to stack my two rooks. Uh, I, I see. He wants knight h2. I mean, everything is good here. It's a question of which move I want to go. I'm just going to go to c8 because f4 I'll just take. Takes, he loses the queen. Yeah, that's just a blunder. I'm going to win this game too. Goes e5. I can obviously just take and drop back to f6 as well. Hit the rook. I guard the g4 square very importantly f4 is weak i rook d8 i can take maybe yeah why not let's just take queen f2 very logical move that could be a real problem actually did i really just blunder this oh great i did actually the heck did i actually just blunder something here oh my god i did or I did. I did blunder here. What the heck? Or did I wait? No, is there queen c3 in her? Oh no, it's check if I take if I sack the queen. Oh no. Okay, let's go here. No, I thought I could sack and mate him, but it's actually check if he takes with the queen. Um let's see what we get here. Uh, things of which Aquative for the Prime. Thing, Aquative, appreciate it. He's too low on time, so I'm going to win anyway. But very, very bad game for me. It's Bishop C4. So he wants to go Knight E4, but I'm not worried here. Because I'm getting all kinds of material. Let's just go back. Go here in Rook E2. Active Rook, active Bishops. GG, why not? Uh, are you not in perfect form? Nowhere near perfect form. For Bullet, especially not. But um, we'll see. Let's go G3, Rook F2, I guess. Oh, I missed Rook H7, but it doesn't matter. Go here and G2, GG. This is, why, this is like when I played my dad load up the chess, mas chess master on NES. Exactly. All right, you guys. So we are going to be moving over to kick now. So as I said before, uh, make sure to watch my stream over there. We'll be there for the next about three hours. And we're coming back to Twitch for the decathlon event at 12 o'clock Eastern. So I'm going to be moving over to kick. And I will see all of you guys over there in about 10 seconds. See you then.